Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death in uh, War World of Warcraft uh, Hardcore. And it is time to go on. We've leveled to level uh, 32. Uh, I've skipped that part because it was just 1000 needles leveling. And to be fair, it was really just grinding enemies. However, we are in a good spot now because all of a sudden with level 32, we're doing something new. Uh, it is Arati Highlands and the uh, lens around uh, Arati. And I will start with two exciting quests that are both dangerous. So we're going to see a little bit of a higher level cave quest in both cases. First quest is going to be uh, the Hercules uh, Revenge. Uh, we need to find a rod and then inside uh, there is a brazier where we can use that rod. And the second one is the uh, Battle for Hill's Bread where we uh, finally need to finish uh, the smith i think it is including a couple of miners so that's going to be uh, fun and uh, then we do have a little bit uh, more stuff here before we go to the arati highlands where we are definitely going to see uh, more action always loved the arati highlands No mage goes into a cave with half mana. All right, that's how you get yourself killed, buddy. Granted, they are level 36, so for them, the mobs are green, but still, it's a cave, and caves are deadly. So, what we're going to do is we're grinding these bad boys down uh, until we find uh, the rod. And I also need to update you on to the fact that I went into permafrost uh, just so that we're getting more time between shooting the first frostbolt and actually needing to confront the enemy. Indirectly, this guy is helping us because he's helping to clear. So now two independent mages are sitting here. And he's now taking, as you can see, he's taking it a little bit slower. Up here is where the brazier is at. So let's talk about permafrost and kind of cookie cutter specs. Online there are quite a few uh, kind of guides around how to spec your character and whilst I think that's helpful specifically for people that don't have a deep understanding of what they're doing, uh, I always find it funny if people say there is just one build and that's the only thing that you can play. As for Frost, for instance, uh, the standard is to go into Ice Shards and Shatter and I will do all of uh, that and then uh, sort of go uh, either 13, 14 or uh, 20 points uh, into it. However, the way that I'm seeing it is when I design a build, I want it to be uh, fitting my personal playstyle and whilst you can uh, follow an absolute standard build the chances are that that standard build is just going to be exactly that standard uh, it will have its weaknesses though and i will go a little bit deeper once we have reached a maximum uh, if and when we have reached maximum level into the process of how to design uh, your build uh, what i am thinking about is 
to use uh, permafrost a little bit uh, more than uh, in the quote unquote recommended or co uh, cookie cutter build. And also go for uh, AoE Blizzard uh, slow because uh, even if you just put one or two points into it, it makes the spell incredibly effective. These ledges, by the way, also very, very, very effective. We're not. Uh, we're going to discipline ourselves. No, uh, not much lower than half mana uh, with these yetis. It's interesting, by the way, how this guy pulls. He straight up opens uh, opens up with frost. No, I wouldn't do that. He wants to do it because he wants the extra crits. But that leaves you more vulnerable after you've done it. Whatever. Each to their own. If he wants to play it that way, then so be it. At this point, we're relatively deep within the cave. Thing that we need to look out for is hype response if we're clearing the entire cave then rest assured uh, that that means we're getting a full respawn he's eyeing the chest the greed Good. Easy peasy so far. We're just looking for the rod. I think I will fast forward until I finally find it. All right. Wow, that has taken a while. I think I killed about 50 yetis until I finally found the rod. And boy, boy, that was a yeti genocide. Well, we're not done yet. It's time for another genocide in the middle of hills. Um, bread as we are moving into yet another cave to get the miners and their boss the uber miner miner foreman bonds so this quest is interesting as it uh, leads us right into a mine where there is definitely no escape so and a plethora of enemies so what we're going to do is we're uh, going to clear the entire way all the way up to And if I'm not mistaken, this guy even summons additional sentries. So you can see these are not like yetis. They are effectively helping each other because the sentries are crying out for help. And so do the miners. So it's about careful pulling. Let's get into the mine. There might be double pulls. It's not uh, off limit here. The miners themselves are not that bad. I think we can very much work around them. It's just the mob density as well as them getting away, which can cause a problem. can see with frost spec it's actually super good not much can reach you that's 
three mobs in a row. Very, very nice. Foreman, we also need to get down 10 of the miners, so it's gotta be a real mass massacre. thing that I very much like about Frost is the mana efficiency. We can just go three pulls um, and are still almost at half mana. All right, that is where potential double pulls might happen. that all of these guys are cowards we can effectively use the fact that they are running to our advantage just need to get them low enough so that we can want them to death Good. Miners are almost uh, good. Now we need to go for the foreman. I think it's the guy in the middle that summons uh, that summons additional helpers, but that's okay. I think we can take him. That was four single pulls in a row. Nice, and we almost took no damage. All right, it's just down to Foreman Bonds, who is uh, down there. Careful moving forward. The other named uh, that we needed to kill beforehand, Minor Hackard. Yeah, and there he is, Foreman Bonds. Okay, we're going to go the right hand 
uh, side. Although pulling up here is nice, that might lead into pathing issues and mobs adding additional mobs. I don't want that. And jumping down is not an option because we're essentially trapping ourselves even more than we are already trapped. more ads from coming left and right. We're just playing it safe. Permafrost, these guys are having a very hard time catching up with us. Careful with the miner back there. He will run down here, so we're better getting that other foreman. No need for this guy. Okay, he wasn't able to call anyone. He does have Devotion Aura and Hammer of Justice. The stun is, sucks, but so does Calling Ads. It is what it is. Let's go. Okay, cool. So now we're in the middle of the typical problem. Respawns are happening. We killed all of these guys, so we want to make sure we're not triggering any respawns. Killed him. And might do what every good uh, undead would be doing. Weaseling our way out of here via Hearthstone. Mwah. See you later. to charge both of the flames uh, there that should be straightforward which is hercules revenge and yeah battle for hill spread uh, the elite quest thank you but no thank you 
not gonna happen all right uh i tell you what we're just going to do the charging thing and that should be a good start yep let's do that okie dokie let's get into the cave uh, all we need to do is lighten the brazers i don't even think that there was anything to it other than killing the yetis Cave is still on uh, safe territory because of rapid respawns that could happen here. charging up all of the different flames someone uh, cleaned this uh, hideout out nicely which also means we gotta pay extra attention don't want to be caught in a respawn wave get all three was it even three i think it was just two and i think we got both of them flame of use ah, okay that is further not normal mountains okay fair enough so one more flame to charge good we're first of all getting out of uh, this cave and then we're going to look for the other uh, flame There you go. I think we can just go there. Yeah, should be a huge issue. And afterwards, we're doing the little quests here and there. Before finally going over to the Arati Highlands. Good, let me fast forward for you. All right, this here is a bit of a rougher neighborhood, one could say. Mainly because the Yetis are definitely higher level and less friendly. We are fighting the slightly meaner, slightly more dangerous version of the Yetis that we fought before. Oh, Pence of the Eagle. That is not bad. Matter of fact, that's a massive upgrade to uh, ours. Oh, yeah. 48 points more and around 100 mana. That's a huge upgrade. Let's hope that's not doublet. It is, of course. Uh, 
But with the right pathing and spacing towards the enemies, we can keep it a double and not make it a triple. Yeah, these guys are quite frost resistant. Very hard to come by, but I think we've freed it up. Uh, some, something is... All right, my spider senses are tingling. Let me look something up. Okay, I must have been wrong. I was somewhat or somehow remembering that there was a spawn when we d did this. But maybe I'm just overly cautious. All right, no spawn. Never mind. I was under the impression that there was someone. Good. Time for us to go back and off we go to Hill Spread as well. This has been long enough of a journey and enough Yetis killed. It's time to make peace with the Yetis. For now. came to the realization that I remember the last step while my spider senses were tingling. I needed to drive the effing rot into the graveyard here and that is right next to an ally, uh, alliance town. That is not going to happen. I am 100% not going to risk this character's life for a stupid quest. Nope. No thank you. Okay, we're going to do a little refreshing quest in between. Gotta get these super mushrooms for an elixir. Uh, we're a little bit over leveled for that quest, but I don't mind that. There's always some fun in killing gnolls. So we're just going to grind that down. Get our, like, what, six mushrooms? I'll fast forward that, it's a quickie. Alright, we made it finally into the Arati Hilllands. We got our little camp back there, but before we go there, it's ogre time. Uh, peace with the Yetis has been re-established, a war has been declared on the ogres. Just need to kill a lot of uh, these guys. As you can see, we're fighting uh, mobs of uh, even level or above here. So, just barely high enough to go into the Arati Highlands. I won't do a ton of quests here. I want to make sure that we're not fighting quests that are too far above our level. Yeah, these guys here are pain in the rear with the bark shadow caster. Let's hope we don't need to fight too many of them. For the time being, we just need ogres. And ogres we should get. Trolls here are nasty casters. Unfortunately, shadow magic isn't particularly our strong suit, so 
We don't have a reward against that like we do against frost and uh, fire. Which is why at least these guys here, the shadow casters, why I don't want to fight them. We're preparing ourselves nonetheless. Let's just get some damn magic going. In case we're accidentally adding one of them. As always, I'm preparing the exit route first before even considering going in deeper. Good, and that quest is dangerous, so these guys here are killing some if not that many adventurers but some unfortunately we need to go inside of the cave for the others and i have some really nasty memories about that cave it's claustrophobically tight in there and super easy to hit uh, one or two more others. Let's say not the perfect breeding ground for a uh, caster. So we got the ogres, all we need now is enforcers. <laughs> Those are the guys from the inside. I could play it ultra safe and just stay here at the entrance, farm those three, and then wait for respawns, but I think that would be stretching a bit too much. Good, halfway done. Yeah, we got shadow casters in here. These are not the cast, uh, shadow casters, they are the healers, even worse.
Fabulous. I don't want to go too deep into the cave for obvious reasons. Keeping that exit well inside. Good, two more. Okay, we're going to pick the last one and then we're out of here. Peace out. Fantastic. Problem solved, and we're out of the cave. Wouldn't be surprised if respawn is already starting to happen. Yep, there you go. Just the time, there's the respawn. Alright, I'll be moving directly to here in an attempt to to get there. Alright, we successfully landed with a lot of quests and questing we shall do. So we have plenty of raptors. As uh, well as headhunters. Wither bark headhunter. Where do we get that guy f uh, guys from? to arms that is well I think it's just a just wrong position all of uh, the trolls are down here and that's also where we should go afterwards we're hunting raptors matter of fact we're always hunting raptors because they have tasty tasty eggs and we can make a uh, raptor that's uh, which will help us with cooking just bought the recipe so we're good to go of these raptor eggs. Let me go to the uh, trolls first and then we're continuing there. Good, we are here. Time to eliminate a couple of the trolls. The problem is some of them are eggs throwers and those are quote-unquote hunter-like mobs. And I hate ranged physical mobs. They always interrupt your casting. against all of the casters including the shadow casters no more option to run away very 
good. So this is pretty much going to be a grind fest down here. Uh, I will fast forward it a little bit for you guys. Okay, we grinded ourselves uh, through all of the trolls. This cave here is murderous. Haven't uh, gotten it. I haven't recorded, but there are headhunters. I just ha uh, mouse overing one of these guys, and whoever designed them must have had a bad day in the office. These guys have net, which makes it difficult to run away, and on top of it, they execute. So that when the player is low, not only <laughs> can they not run away, but on top of it, they are getting executed. Yeah, I do understand why there is a big fat red mark down there. People that don't know it are just getting stomped. All right, next up, we're going to get some raptors just while it's effectively walking up here, I suppose, where our next quest will lead us. Not sure if we can already do that. But we can most certainly do our magics here. All right, fast forwarding. All right, after a little travel, we have finally managed to get rid of all of the raptors in the region. Gotta get Fardel's head, Marcel's uh, head, and Kaneda's head. Okay, let's see if this is really a 36 quest. We're going to find out in a moment. Are involved, we're uh, going to be fine. This was certainly not the cleanest pull, but easy enough. Uh, that should be Fardo gone. Marcel is on the other side, and then we got one person up here. Good. Given that we attempt the, relatively speaking, higher level quest, might as well sit down and buffer uh, mass properly. Almost 1,200 hit points. I'm actually quite proud of that. Getting the wandering mobs off, and let's just double check. Where that named enemy is potentially in that house. Yeah, big bear, Marcel. Fair enough. why it is such high level only thing that I could imagine is because you're double pulling you know all of the classes have the crowd control The next one might be a triplet. Nah, I think I can single pull this guy. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. And that brings us to our named enemy. Almost. After buddy pulling this laborer. Funny to uh, see that we're getting better, greater healing potions than what we can currently craft. It speaks volumes about alchemy and how slow it is progressing for me. He missed his shield bash, that's why I would like to have been silenced for a moment. That's shield wall. And that's when shield wall finally ran off. Good, two down, one more to go. Moving up, our last target is right up there. to double pull uh, them I'm just trying to get past them so I do understand why the quest has a much higher rating Target is inside, right? Yeah, there she is. Good, just clearing. Maybe because I don't want a stupid Ed when I'm fighting her. And since she's level 35, that also explains the quest level. Quite a bit of damage. She is fast with her daggers. Oh, yeah, she does a good amount of damage. Look at that. Not bad. Very good. So, next up. We're going for foul magics. Um, I'm getting bloodstone amulets up there. Let's fast forward.
All right, arrived at North Fold Manor. Are greeted by Syndicate Highwaymen. These are the guys that we need to destroy. And all we need to get is 10 amulets. Chain kill, but it also includes wonderful stealth moves. Uh, you gotta love it when they sneak up on you. Specifically, since rogues do have a backstab, yep, they do have that as well, which means once you run away and they get behind you, you're eating even more damage. All right, I will fast forward that unless something important happens. We're just going to grind through them. Okay, we're very close to level 33, so I figured I'll just showcase that on camera. We're halfway through the quest. And despite some of the syndicate being hidden, we're actually doing relatively well. There's the level up. And I think we're committing to our permafrost idea. only does it slow longer, but it also slows more. So these guys are now slowed for 47%. We'll get it up to 50%, so plus 10% on all slow effects. Very good. I'll continue to grind. Good, we are done after a while of questing at the trolls, then the raptors, then farmstead, and then Northfold Manor. We have made it finally. Let's trade in and reap the rewards of our hard work. Is brood mm -mm. not happening? That's level 38, which is fine at this point in the game. The game wants you to explore multiple uh, quest lines, and that's okay. And multiple zones in that regard, so. It's not just one zone. Yeah, well that that here is 3738. Let's see, I think we're almost done. So this year definitely will happen later. Sickle of Storm will never happen, or very likely never happen. Might as well abandon it right away. Desolace is likely the region where I would want to go next, just uh, because it re it's required for cooking. It's a great region to quest, and we might be okay with it. Uh, the game also wants us to go to the Badlands, as well as Ratchet and um, Strangathorn, actually. So that would be Booty Bay. Lots of options here. The 
This is under city, so we have uh, quite a few quests to turn in, and I will do exactly that. Um, I think in terms of questing, we did uh, very well, so it seems pretty much like a good end for today's episode. Overall, well done. Now I'll do the chores, and we're going to go to a next, uh, our next quest location. See you in the next episode, and have a good one. Bye-bye.